Hi again, everyone. I am going to explain today's lesson called decimal estimation, and it has a lot to do with the rounding that we did in 3.4. However, um, we are going to go through some front end estimation and some techniques that might help you um, as you deal with some really big numbers coming up. So the the estimation we are going to work with is the sums and the differences. So if you see a number like 22.4, 5.8, generally speaking, what you are going to do is you are going to round them to the whole numbers on this side of the decimal. So 22.4, we're going to round to the ones place. We're going to look to the right and see that it's going to round down to 22. <clears throat> if we round the 5, uh, we're going to look to the right and see that it's an 8. Well, that's bigger than 5, so I, I know that that's going to go to a 6. 22 plus 26, easy peasy lemon squeezy, you have got a 28. This really helps you when you are taking a test or a quiz because it'll get you close. If you end up getting um, 2,712, say, you know that you're very off, that you've got the decimal in the wrong place because if you do your estimation, you should get a number that's pretty close to 28 when you get your exact answer. Now with a subtraction, you do it exactly the same way. You look to the right, 18.9 rounds to 19. 5.5, .5, this is five, so five or greater we go up. So we're gonna do minus six. And so we're gonna end up with a 13. <clears throat> not a problem at all. There's a book example I'd want to show you. Um, if you look up here, here's the activity, sports participation in millions. Here's the activities, and these are 22.5 million males compared to 18.9 females. So estimate the total number of people that participated in hiking. So we have 15.4 and 15.2. <clears throat> Take just a moment and see if you can figure out what they would round to. Once you've done that, you should have gotten, they would both round down to 15. So 15 plus 15 would be 30. Now look at the graph. It says it's in millions. So this is 30 million people participate in hiking. So never forget to go back and check out what you are actually doing. <clears throat> the part of the assignment and the, um, the piece that gets to be a little bit tricky is when you need to start using your logical reasoning. So let's say that you want to buy a shirt and the shirt is going to be nine dollars and 21 cents and you brought a twenty dollar bill now if we were to do estimation on this this rounds down to about um, nine dollars and then obviously this is twenty dollars so if we do twenty minus nine we should get $11 around that. Now we know it's going to be a little less than that because there was the 21 cents to consider, but you know in your head, okay, I should, um, I should get around $11, and that will help you know if you get the correct change. Um, this is a high estimate. I'm going to put that down because a lot of we did high and low estimates earlier in the year. This is a high estimate because we know we didn't have, I'm going to say because we omitted the 21 cents. So if you're able to in your head mentally take 21 cents from there, you know you're going to be a little lower than that. Now, the big snag for most kids is front end estimation. And to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my book up here and show you their technique 
it's really kind of cool and it gets you a little bit closer um, than just pure estimation, especially when you're dealing with money and a laundry list of numbers. So if you have a grocery list of bread, milk, cereal, and popcorn, sounds like a party to me, so yay. Um, we're going to add all of those up. And as you know with prices, a lot of times they're 79 or um, 34. They're weird um, change at the end of the dollar. They're not just evenly $2 and $1, unless you go to the dollar store. So if you're doing this, step one, and if you would write in your notes, step one is add the front end digits. So you don't even pay attention to the last two. So if you look, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. So you get this $9 to start with. And then step two is estimate the cents. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to like circle up two numbers that, or maybe three, that are pretty close to a dollar. So look at 79 and 18, pretty close to a dollar. 34 and 65, also pretty close to a dollar. So you added this up to nine. You have two extra dollars that you rounded up um, by circling these at the end. So that's two. Nine plus two is about 11. So step three is add your two results, the nine plus the two. Take another look through here and draw those arrows and see how 79 plus 18. So 79, you'd need about 21 cents to make a real dollar. So we're going to be a little shy of these numbers, but at least we get a ballpark figure. So <clears throat> I want you to try $6.42, $7.64, $3.94, and $2.21. Do the front end estimation technique where you add the front, circle up the end numbers to see the dollars that it makes. Pause the video, figure that out. Okay, if you've just paused it, I'm going to reveal, and you should have gotten about $20. The other one that I have here, you can see the 18 at the end. See if when you add those series of numbers up, you also get the 18. Please come see me if you have any questions. Your assignment is online.